Hi, I'm Margaret Martin, registered physical therapist, here to help you age stronger with exercise. Today's episode, we are going to cover lifting. And when I talk about lifting, pretty much, you know, I can't think of a day that goes by without lifting something. Whether I'm lifting groceries, whether I'm, you know, lifting um, a rock in the garden, um, lifting up, you know, um, my pets. You know, there's always some lifting involved in life. And so I want to bring together all of the concepts that we've covered in the previous episodes into how we lift. So we're going to begin by taking advantage of a couple of weights and I'm going to come in close. So how I carry myself and how I've even chosen to, to hold my stance when I lift. I could have approached the weights here, but then it would be bringing me farther away from the weights and compromising my alignment in my spine. By Coming into the angle or the corner of the stool this is going to allow me to get in really close and therefore I can maintain my neutral pelvis. I can gently tuck my shoulder blades into their neutral position in order to hold the weight safely. Now, when bringing the weights, we're going to remember our breath, we're going to remember our tongue position and because I'm going to be lifting in an opposite direction, we're going to go way back to episode one of grounding our feet because it's an opposite force that I'm creating as I'm lifting. All right, so let's take it down. Nice breath in and blow. Great, I'm going to step away with the weights. Now, lifting on a day-to-day -day basis doesn't always mean that we're doing bicep curls. When we use bicep curls, uh, we'll do three reps of them just to serve as an example of how you would integrate all of these tips into an exercise like a bicep curl. So breath in. Start to blow. Inhale as I go down, keeping the tongue to my, the roof of my mouth makes it challenging to talk. And shoulder blades tucked back. So are there lots of points to think about? Absolutely. You know, going from where are the six points, you know, three on each side at the base of my feet. Am I keeping my knees soft? Is my pelvis in a neutral position? Are my shoulder blades in a neutral position? Where is my rib cage relative to my pelvis? Where is my head relative to my shoulders? So all of these things and our tongue are so critical in ensuring that when we lift or when we lower something, that we maintain all of those uh, points to keep us strong, to allow us to age stronger through exercise. I'm Margaret. If you like this video, please subscribe below. If you don't want to miss any future episodes, you can hit notifications. To learn more about a full exercise program on aging stronger and on building stronger bones, I invite you to click down into the description box below on exercise for better bones. Thank you for joining me. I wish you a very strong and lovely day.